Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, which there's a very high chance that you are. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are going to go book shopping. I woke up today and I decided that I was going to take myself to Barnes & Noble literally for no other reason than the fact that I want to. I woke up today and I honestly felt kind of mad. I did not feel great. I was pretty unmotivated. And then I had therapy. And my therapist said something extremely wise. She said to me that I should be kind to myself. And because I am someone who is always going to interpret whatever my therapist says in the way in which it best fits my own narrative, I decided that that meant that I should go and buy some books because what else would it mean, you know? So that's what we are about to do. We are going to get cozy and we are going to go to Barnes & Noble on this rainy, rainy, gloomy day, which is why the lighting in here is absolutely atrocious. Doesn't matter. It's the perfect weather to go book shopping. So that's what we are going to do. I don't really have a solid plan of what I want to get from Barnes & Noble, but all I know is that I just kind of want to be at Barnes & Noble. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like sometimes you want to go to the bookstore, not necessarily because you want to buy a book, but because you just want to be in the bookstore and that's where I am at right now so that's what we are going to do we are going to get cozy we're going to get a drink as soon as we get to Barnes & Noble because if you don't do that that's probably a crime we're gonna get a fall drink we're gonna get cozy we're going to shop for some books hopefully we are going to find some good stuff I think they have some sort of special deal going on right now where you get three stamps extra or something like that. I don't know. I don't understand math. I just know that there's some sort of deal going on with stamps right now. So hopefully I'm gonna get a couple stamps with my visit. Hopefully we're gonna find some good books. And I, of course, am going to bring you along with me. And that's all I gotta say for now. Hop on. We are about to go book shopping. We are back home. I got back from Barnes & Noble about an hour, an hour and a half ago, and then we took our dog on a walk, and I just got back, and of course, I had to update you on what I got. I did not get a lot of books. I only bought two, but these two books cost 40 bucks, so I feel like this is worth for almost three. But I am extremely excited about what I got. Uh, I didn't think they had one of these, and then I asked the man from Barnes & Noble, and he went to the back and got it for me, so I am very very happy with my find so let's go through what i got first of all i just realized you can see me on my mirror let me move you a little bit to the side there we go first of all i got a physical copy of the book i am currently reading which i have a feeling is going to become a little bit of a personality trait I saw Reagan reading this on her channel and it kind of took over her life and I did not think it was going to take over mine because I am not a high fantasy girly. I'm really not. I don't remember the last time I read a fantasy book and felt so into the story but then this book came along and I am slowly seeing what the hype is about. I'm slowly... Also, I just realized there are some warriors on this 
cover. How did I never notice this before? Hello. A lot of layers to this. Look at that. These men right here. I never noticed them before. Anyway, so I got Malice, which is this high fantasy book. Uh, I honestly cannot tell you much about this story because right now I'm in it for the characters and one character specifically that I have fallen in love with and I care so much about him and his sister and I really need to know where their story is going to go. All I know about this world is that uh, it's very complex. There's a lot of characters. There's a lot of politics at play. Um, it takes place in this world where giants and humans once roamed the earth together and they used to coexist. But of course, as humans often do, they mess things up and then they decided that they should be the only rulers and they pretty much found a way to go to war with the giants and banish them from the lands forever. So, um... Shit's gonna go down. I feel like the giants are trying to reclaim what was theirs. I don't know if there are gods involved in this. I think there are. I'm about 200 pages into this book uh, on my Kindle and I just know that I want to have a physical copy of this. So that's what I got. And then the other book that I got, it's honestly <laughs> not that crazy and not that far-fetched because it's the second book in the series. I just know that as soon as I finish this, I am gonna wanna read this right here, just because I have heard everyone say that the ending to this book is crazy and that like uh, throughout this book, the author is just building up this world and uh, he's just like throwing little Easter eggs about what could possibly happen in the future. He's trying to like make you understand what's at play. He's trying to make you care about the characters. And then I feel like right at the end of this book, it feels like shit's gonna go down, but then it doesn't go down, and then you are like, what the hell, I need to know the rest. So, so that does not happen to me. I got a copy of this. So, this, of course, is the second book in this series right here. I thought about getting the whole series, but not only did they not have it, but I was not about to drop a hundred bucks on books today, just because, you know... <laughs> I can't do that. I shouldn't even have dropped 40 books because I need to be more responsible. But that doesn't matter. I am still very happy that I got this and that as soon as I am done with reading Malice, I can just pick up Valor, which I am so excited about. I can guarantee to you that you are going to hear me talk so much about these books because I already care about like I said, two of these characters so much and I really want to know where their story is going to go. And I am just so, so excited that I found a fantasy book that made me feel this way. I truly don't think I felt disengaged and disinterested in a fantasy world since I read The Poppy War back in 2021 or 2020. I think it was 2021. So it's so incredible to find this book and truly I am so thankful for booktube because I would never in my life have picked these books up if it wasn't for booktube because these covers, they're not the prettiest, let's be honest, but the stories in here are fantastic. So these are my two picks for today and that's all I bought. I also bought a drink and had a great time. The vibes were everything I needed. My mood is lifted and I am really excited to have these two books and to continue to devour this story and to fall more and more in love with these characters and possibly suffer because of them as well. So that's everything for today. Thank you so much for coming along with me to Barnes & Noble and I hope you enjoyed watching my little journey and I really hope that you will stick around. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.